Hi everyone, welcome to the Muster Drill. I'm Scott, I'm in beautiful Roatan, Honduras. Let's have a look around. Hi everyone, welcome back. We're on our last stop on the Carnival Mardi Gras at Roatan, Honduras. We were in Cozumel on Monday and Costa Maya on Tuesday. And today we spent the day here in Roatan, Honduras. We had a really great time today in Roatan hanging out with 2K Adventure Tours. One of the stops we had was at the Mayan Eden Eco Park. And our guide there, Molly, she was incredible. Molly just knew so much about so many things and she just took her time, showed us all over the park. She was really nice, really personable. We got to hang out with the monkeys and all the other incredible animals. It was a really great day. And then we just spent the day seeing other sites around the island. We went to the rum factory and the chocolate factory and just a lot of other places. We got to see just so many things on this amazing, beautiful tropical island. We got to hang out with some really great people and just learn about the Hondurians and about their culture and their history. And it was just, just really, honestly, the most amazing day. Now, right now I'm down here on the beach at Mahogany Bay. Now this is a free beach. It's included in, um, you know, the stop here on Carnival. This is Carnival's private area. None of the other cruise ships come here. Now Royal Caribbean and Norwegian do come to Roatan, but they dock uh, a little bit further down the island in a, I think a, pri a public dock space or whatever and you can go off of there. You can get all the same tours and stuff with those cruise lines. But this area here, Mahogany Bay, is owned by Carnival. It's their private, you know, exclusive area. Now these beach chairs and umbrellas and uh, clamshells and things like that are extra as well as the water options that you have in there the floaties and things like that those things are all optional but the beach itself is free and you can come and just hang out here and have a good time it's not the in my opinion it's not the most beautiful beach i've ever been on but it doesn't have to be it definitely beats being at home any day this area is a private cabana area. I'm not 100% sure what the cost of these cabanas are, but I'll throw it up on the screen here when the video is published so you'll know what they are. It's probably more than likely variably priced based on the time that you're here and how busy it is and how many people are renting them and so on. So as you can see in here, it's a really nice uh, shaded grovey area so there's no clamshells no umbrellas in here but there's a lot of natural shade and if I was coming here again I didn't spend the day on the beach here because I spent the day out exploring the island and you know checking out this amazing beautiful place and meeting all of these really great people that I met today but if I were to come down here again and spend the day on the beach I probably would not waste my money on a clamshell that I know is just going to block the view of somebody else behind me. Um, I would probably just pick one of these abundantly shady chairs over here on this side of the beach and save the money on the clamshell. But here behind the beach, there are several bars and restaurants. Um, I know that they've gone through some name changes and stuff over the years, but they're still a really great place to hang out and get something to drink. As you can see here, there is a network of skyride lift cars however you want to call them you know that are definitely come in handy after a long day when you just don't feel like walking back but if you do feel like walking back from the uh, beach there's an area in between the beach and the um, shopping area that is just beautiful lush 
natural foliage and surroundings, beautiful tropical flowers and nature trail. It's really just an amazing place. And if you're not too tired, I recommend you walk back through it because you will not see too many places like this anywhere else. In So we had just a really great day today exploring Roatan from here in Mahogany Bay all the way out to West Bay on the western side of the island and back and a whole bunch of really great, amazing, beautiful places in between. So I have been to Roatan about four times and I can honestly tell you that I have cheated myself out of a really amazing opportunity to meet these warm and welcoming people who live here and to see the, you know, the beauty of this island for everything that it is. But I'm so glad that I decided today that I would not go down to the beach and spend another day on the beach and that I would get out and I would explore this island because it did not disappoint. And I had just a really great time. And, you know, I would encourage you if you're coming here to Mahogany Bay. Now, if you haven't been here to Mahogany Bay and you haven't had any beach days on your cruise, or you know, if you just are a beach day kind of person, then I, I say yes, come here and get on the beach and have a good time, but otherwise get into a tour or even hire a taxi to take you around and show you around this place because it is beautiful and amazing to just take a moment 
to tell everyone that I really appreciate all of your support. I appreciate you subscribing to the channel and I appreciate all the likes and the views. Our channel is growing and that's only because of you and your interest in the content that we're producing. I think that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you very much for tuning in. And if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button. And then don't forget to click the subscribe button. It won't cost you anything. You click it once and you're done and it'll really help us out a lot. And then don't forget to click that notification bell so that you know every time we upload a new video. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.